for the new parents um, who haven't had to experience this yet, this is how we did our um, distance learning last year. Um, so what I'm gonna do for this part is um, read the book-ish. And I also have the dot, which was something we had planned for this week. And sky color, since we couldn't have school this week due to the smoke, um, I'm going to read them now, and I'm just going to go all three in this one video instead of separating it, see if it makes it a little bit easier, um, and then it kind of makes a little bit more sense. After this video, though, I will be um, posting another video of activities that I would like to see the parents do at home with the kids. Um, those activities keep in a folder or something, so when we do come back to school, you guys can bring those in. Um, a lot of them will make sense after these stories. Um, yes, and then we'll give more information. If anyone has questions, that's the best time to ask in our next video. And so this book is called Ish. Now you have to get all your little ones in here. You've been working a lot on if it's a soft book or a hard book. This one is a hard book, and we have a jacket. We haven't discussed the jacket yet, so when we get back to school, we will um, discuss that. This is Ish. This is from Peter H. Reynolds. Um, I move out of the way a little bit more. Sorry, it's so dark too. Um, the lighting is not working with me right now. Ramon loved to draw. And sorry for the noise in the background. We've got Lane playing. Anytime, anything. Anywhere. Look at where he is drawing, kids. Bedtime. Uh, drawing some trash cans and even in the bathroom. One day, Ramon was drawing a vase of flowers. His brother, Leon, leaned over his shoulder. Leon burst out laughing. What is that? He asked. So there's Leon. I don't know why this one isn't going in focus. And there he is first drawing up a storm. Ramon could not even answer. He just crumbled up the drawing and threw it across the room. Do sometimes you guys get angry like that? Leon's laughter haunted Ramon. He kept trying to make his drawings look right, but they never did. Let's see if I can move it somehow. You guys can see this. There we go. Let's see if that works. There he is throwing it across the room. After many months and many crumpled sheets of paper, Ramon put his pencil down. I'm Done. Look at him. There he is, putting that pencil down. Okay, let me see if I can turn this thing. Marisol, his sister, was watching him. Okay, let's see. Watching him. What do you want? He snapped. I was watching you draw, she said. Ramon sneered. I'm not drawing. Go away. Marisol ran away, but not before picking up a crumpled sheet of paper. Hey, come back here with that. Ramon raced after Marisol and up the hall into her room. There she is running. There is yelling at her. I know it's opposite. Sorry, guys. He was about to yell, but fell silent when he saw his sister's wall. He stared at the crumpled gallery. Oh. Maybe you can see. Oh, there we go. All those pictures. What do you think? It looks like those are all Ramon's pictures that he hopped across the room. This one is one of my favorites, Marisol Paint pointed. That was supposed to be a vase of flowers, Ramon said, but it doesn't look like one. Well, it looks vase-ish, she explained. Now she's playing one of her favorite pictures Ramon drew. Vase-ish, Ramon looked closer. Then he studied all the drawings on Marisol's wall and began to see them in a whole new way. They do look ish, he said. There they are, looking at all the pictures that Ramon drawing. Ramon felt light and energized. Thinking ishly allowed his ideas to flow freely. He began to draw what he felt, loose lines, quickly springing out without worry. Look at him. 
Looks pretty happy. And it's hard to see here, but he's got a smile on his face. And he has just drawn away. Look at all those papers. Instead of getting crumpled, look at them. They're all flat and nice. Ramon once again drew and drew the world around him. Making an ish drawing felt wonderful. He filled his journals with... So there he is drawing outside, drawing that tree. Gorgeous. And then here's some pictures. There's a tree-ish, house-ish, boat-ish, afternoon-ish, fish-ish, and sun-ish. Do you guys see that? Look at all those cool different pictures. Ramon realized he could draw ish feelings too. Peace-ish, silly-ish, I used to be really good at this parents, and excited-ish. His ish art inspired ish writing. He wasn't sure if he was writing poems, but he knew they were poemish. This poem says, ponder, pawn, ponder, dream yonder, pawn, pawn, yawn, yawn, dream wonder. Ramon. One spring morning, Ramon had a wonderful feeling. It was a feeling that even ish words, Lane Cash, and ish drawings could not capture. He decided not to capture it. Instead, he simply savored it. Now, capturing means he's not going to draw it, but he's going to just sit there, relax, and enjoy it while he can. And Ramon lived ishfully ever after. Look at all the cool drawings around him. And running around with his art pad. Perfect. So that was our story. So it meant to be a story for this week, but I also have, um, by the same author, the dots and then sky color. So it kind of goes back to the drawings and um, art, basically. I don't know why am I, I'm dark. Everything else is working. Okay. Oh, that made it work. Sorry, guys. So we're going to read the dot. Um, we actually have never read this story, so um, this will be new for all of us. And this one, guys, is a soft book compared to the hard book we just had. Okay, can you see that? So up, you guys can't. Okay. Art class was over, but Vashti, Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Oh, look at her. Does she look happy or sad in that picture, huh? Vosti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vosti. I just can't draw. Look at her teacher. Hmm, what could that blank paper be is what she was probably thinking. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vosti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. So there's the teacher telling her, just make a dot, make a mark, see what happens with that. Look at all that red around her. She must be very angry. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vosti and quietly said, now sign it. Do you guys see the dot? Not there, but when you go to this one, there's that dot. Vosti thought for a moment. Well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. She is signing her name. The next week, when Vosti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn. Her dot all framed in swirly gold. There's the teacher's desk. Boop. There it is. Can you see your name? It's kind of hard to see right there. <gasps> I can't make, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Look, there she is like, hmm. I can make better than this. There's her art supplies. Vosti painted and painted a yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with red, she discovered that she could make a purple dot. 
Vosti kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. So there she is with just the regulars, the yellow, the green, the red, and the blue. And here's her paper now with all those different colored dots that she mixed colors with to make. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vosti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on a bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vosti even made a dot by not painting a dot. Ooh, there we go. So there's her giant piece of paper making all those big old dots. And then here's her making a dot without drawing a dot. Pretty cool. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vosti's many dots made quite a splash. So when some schools have art shows after, if they have an art class, look at all those different dots, huh? Not one's the same. They're all different. Vosti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vosti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Miss Ashley can't either, but look at that little boy talking to Vosti. Vosti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Oh, look. Look at the dot and the circle behind him. Those are some pretty colors right there. Vosti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, so there's a squiggle. I think a lot of a squiggle like that, huh? Mm -hmm. Please sign it. Oh, she's doing just like her art teacher did with her, huh? Sign that paper and make it yours. And then there's the end of that book. That one's a really cute book, too. Mm -hmm. Now there's one more book. Um, it's another one we haven't read yet. It's called Sky Color, so this is going to be a new one for all of us. Jump right on in there so we can get this part done. Ooh, look at those colors, guys. Very pretty colors. Thanks, Mike. Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint. She even had her very own art gallery. Oh, what's her art gallery? The parents' refrigerator. Not all of her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to share ideas she believed in. Look at all those posters she's making. That one says, save the ocean. And that one up there says, get well. Or it's almost about to say, get well. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. Look at her. Giving everyone something Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So when her teacher told the class they were going to paint a mural for the library, Marisol couldn't wait to begin. Look at her art class. That looks like the funnest art class ever. So much stuff. So wild. So crazy. Mm -hmm. I do funny though. <laughs> the classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched. Together, they made a great big drawing. Then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean. Marisol shouted, I'll paint the sky. Look at that. Look how giant that paper is. Look, there's paints back there. Oh, there's more paints right here. What else does he have in his hand? Oh, watercolor paints. There's all different kinds of paints, and they run into the library. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint but could not find any blue. How am I going to make the sky without blue paint? There she is going through the paint. No blue there. Look at her face. She's, she's kind of confused, huh? How can we make a sky with no blue? Yeah. The bell rang. It was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Marisol kept wondering. There she is on the bus. We're trying to run to get to the bus right there. All the way home, she stared out the window. Hmm. Does that sky look blue to you that she's staring out of? And even by the bus, is that blue right there? I don't think so. It is blue. 
That is not blue, Cash. Maybe red. Maybe red. The sun lowered closer to the horizon. Now look at all those gorgeous colors. Are any of these colors blue? No. No. All red and blue. We got red and yellow and some orange. It's kind of hard. There we go. Kind of, huh? We'll have to read this story at school again. Yeah, gotcha. Later at home, Marissa watched the day turn into night. So there she is at home. See the colors? Yellow and the red and the purpley on top. Then look as it gets darker and darker and then darker. <gasps> there's a little blue, but there's all different colors in that blue, huh? Then that night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. There she is dreaming. Everything's dark, right? Mm -hmm. Except her paintings. Look, she's got Ramon's painting and the dot painting up there. <gasps> she's still got her art gallery in there. She drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. Oh, look at those colors. All of those pretty, pretty colors. Look at her swirling around in it. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. The sky was not blue. She smiled. <gasps> what color is that? It's a dark color. Yeah. That one's called gray. Yeah. At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colors. This one, that one, she swirled the brush to make an all-together new color. Look at her go. All her friends are painting, and there she is with that yellow jumping in there, jumping some other colors in there. Marisol then began painting on the wall. Hi, Monster. What color is that? That, Marisol said. That is a sky color. Look at him asking. She's going to town. Look, she's on a ladder. Good job, Marisol. Oh, look at this mural. This is gorgeous. Look at all those different colors in the sky. Interesting that there was some blue. Oh, no. If you look, it's green for the water. And look at all those fish. It's a gorgeous painting, huh? Ooh, Lane Cash. And that is the end of this story, guys. Okay, so those are our books. If you guys would like, you guys, this will stay on. Um, and YouTube, this will stay on as well. So I will sign off up here and do a new video. Um, but you guys can come back and watch this anytime. Just remember to comment or like so I know that you guys watched it. Um, and then I can kind of track who's doing what. Um, parents, the next one is for you. Okay, bye.